Hey there, it's Jeff with Train 4x4 Adventures coming to you with yet another video. This time I'm taking you to the car wash. So we uh, recently got back from four days, four nights out in Colorado with uh, my buddy Tim from Adrenaline HQ, also known as Adrenaline Vans. And uh, we had attended his annual Van Wild event and man, that was awesome. Great food. He feeds you breakfast and dinner every day. Has a bunch of different outings that you can sign up for, whether it's going out four wheeling in the van, uh, there's mountain bike outings, there's fly fishing outings, there was a golf game, there was, uh, I think, some motorcycle outings. Just all kinds of events that you can sign up for or just hang out. It's, uh, it's right next to his shop. Oh, he has bands, uh, a couple of different bands in Friday and Saturday night. That was a lot of fun, great entertainment, great food. Uh, but it's all done uh, both at his shop and then just uh, about a mile down the road at this uh, pretty cool little campground. And uh, anyhow, we had some great four-wheeling in the van. Uh, stick around, I'm gonna put out a video soon on that. Uh, but I'm on the way to the car wash to get this van cleaned up. And I don't know if our inhabit mats have ever been dirtier when we were out in Colorado. We had rain, we had snow, we had hail, and of course that uh, created a lot of mud, so mud and dirt. So if you guys have been following my channel, you know how much of a fan I am of inhabit mats and how amazing they are just for the added comfort and quite frankly eloquence eloquence elegance <laughs> in this van um, they're just a phenomenal upgrade but what makes them even better is just the ease of maintenance and the ease of cleaning so I'm gonna take you down to the car wash just show you how simple that process is and uh, yeah if you haven't got them yet <laughs> I'm gonna give you one more reason to rethink that decision these things are awesome and like i said the maintenance on them is really really simple so here you go all right so here's a quick look at all the muck we got in <laughs> yeah it's a it's a bit dirty dirty out there and uh that's what my mats look like but i really don't mind because uh in just a couple of minutes, they're gonna take on a whole new look. Again, I'm doing this with just one hand. So you can just lay these down like in your driveway. I like putting them up against the wall at this car wash like this, clipping them in. That way I get them nice and clean and the water can just run down. All right, so let's watch this dirt come right off. So I usually don't use soap. I did this time just because these things were just so dirty. So let's just do a quick rinse. All right, so check that out. Just like the day I bought these things. It's as simple as that, folks. Super easy to clean. All right, now for the main section here. This guy just pulls out. Walk it over.
All right, so you might notice a little color variation here. Uh, for the floors, we chose the tweed color, which I absolutely love in our Jayco terrain. But I also love the fawn color. So we got the fawn color. This is for our countertop. And then we've got fawn in the shower and the rest is tweed. So um, for the rest of these mats, as you notice, I didn't use any soap. So this just proves that I didn't need to use soap in the process, just a high pressure wash and they're clean. It took me exactly 10 minutes to get all of my mats clean and that's taking my time and doing things with one hand and videotaping at the same time. So you could probably cut that time down. Now, what do I do with these mats now that they're all wet? Let me show you. So I just bring them inside, put them in the shower area and let them drip dry for the drive home. All right, so there you have it, 10 minutes to quickly wash off the Inhabit mats. Now they're as clean as the day I bought them. And so now I'm back on my way home. I will take them out of the shower area and let them dry in my driveway and then uh, show you what they look like back in the van in a little bit. Um, I have been out on the road before and washed the mats and just left them in the uh, shower for the rest of the day and overnight to dry out and that worked just fine. So that's another option if you're out and about. Um, no reason to hesitate and get these things clean. You can do it really just about anywhere. So, so there you have it. Let me get these things dried off and reinstalled and I'll give you another quick look of what they look like back in the van. All right, so we got everything drying out nicely. And for the garage area set, I will actually just blow that out with my air compressor because that's actually sitting on a couple of uh, storage bins that aren't worth the hassle of taking out. So there's a complete set. This is a uh, outdoor mat that we use and uh, we will put it back into the van. All right, so quick before and after. This is factory look here. My boring, depressing floors. Before the magic happens, let's put these inhabits back in. All right, so there you have it. Just like new, again, a 10 minute power wash and all that dust and mud and dirt, grime, hair, it's gone. These mats create such a huge transformation in this fan. The fit and finish is just amazing. All right, so there you have it. 10 minutes, quick power wash, and these things are good as new. Man, these mats are just, they've just transformed how we enjoy our van tremendously. So if you're on the fence, hopefully this uh, video will help you understand the maintenance requirements of these things. It's very simple. I don't do this, but every maybe three months, I've gone as long as like six months without cleaning them. Uh, not the best idea, but uh, they seem to kind of just kind of trap the dirt to where you can't even notice it. So you can go for longer periods of times, uh, but it's up to you. Like I said, it's a 10 minute quick clean and you're done. So if you're on the fence, uh, hopefully this video will help demonstrate just how easy it is to care for these and how beautiful they look after you've cleaned them up. So one more thing I wanted to mention is that uh, these mats aren't just for the Revels. They're not just for the Jayco Terrain, the Integra launches and the Storytellers. You can get these mats in just any type of van that you have. So if you've got a custom build, um, these guys will actually draw out a template for you and uh, make custom mats as well. So available to everybody out there. These things are awesome. Hope you liked this video. Hope you found it informative. And if so, please hit that like button and subscribe. Take care, everybody, and hope to see you out on the trail sometime soon.